Good morning. It's the morning of day 11. Unfortunately, we received bad news uh, last night that the missing hiker was found. Unfortunately, she did not survive. Uh, all I can say is prayers grow out to her, her family. And it's a sad time in the trail. Uh, stayed here last night. Really nice accommodations. Uh, right behind me is the uh, bunkhouse I stayed in. Over here by the, the brick uh, bridge back there. Okay. Welcome back to the restaurant. There's a fellow hiker. Say hi. Hi. hi there, <laughs> so. Back here is like the common area, kitchen, pizza oven. I had a, uh, a really big pizza in here last night. Everybody here getting ready to go hike this morning. Say hi. Uh, hi. Morning. Hi. Morning. See? A lot of happy hikers. This was a washroom I used last night. Uh, old fashioned washboard. I'll, I'll be honest, first time I ever used one of those. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And uh, back there's a house. Uh, there's Red. That little sucker started crowing about 5.30 this morning. <clears throat> so that's our built-in alarm clock. I didn't need to set anything. Like some boots in the tree here, so people call it quits. And, and <clears throat> this is for the staff where they keep the beer and all the good morning. Stuff. Good morning. So now I'm gonna go ahead and walk up the steps here. There's a little commissary uh, area up here. And in here they have everything from drink mixes, coffee, peanut butter. Uh, Nutella, some canned foods if you want them, um, some soups. And then over here was the uh, refrigerator section. Those who know me, I like my diet soda, I don't drink coffee, so I didn't have one of those this morning. And if you really needed to, you could actually get some uh, clothing, sleeping bags, or other things. So, that's about it for the commissary. Oh, and it's all. Uh, uh, on your honor system, so you grab a piece of paper, you write down what you have. <clears throat> plan is to go about another 10 miles or so, find a place to camp. Uh, I don't have to have a specific mileage plan today because we're out of the Smokies. So, first day hiking, uh, completely out of the Smokies, and I'll fill you in as I go along. Hi guys, checking in. Top of Snowbird Mountain, uh, 4,200 feet. Uh, when I got up here, there's this big, big grassy ball behind me. Uh, and guess what else? There's an air traffic or an FAA tower here. With some off-limit signs, so you can't go past there. Looks like almost like a little space shuttle-looking thing. And there were two gentlemen out earlier, so I guess it's a manned station. So uh, on top of the mountain, you never know what you're gonna find. So back in later. If you look over my shoulder over there, those mountains are in my afternoon. Talk to you later.
Morning of uh, day 12. Uh, last night uh, we hiked uh, 10 miles into camp. And when I say we, there's like four other hikers coming out of the hostel. Uh, we all stayed at a campground uh, right above Brown's Gap. Uh, pretty nice, got a fire going. Uh, got some warm food. Uh, water in these last few areas is a little scarce, but uh, we found some. Uh, today's plan is to go 13 miles over Match Patch and a few other uh, tall mountains and then leave a short day into Hot Springs where uh, that's where I end this section of the hike. So uh, I didn't stop at Standing Bear, went on to uh, Hot Springs. I'm glad I did. So my next section of hike, I can actually start at Hot Springs. So I'll check in later. Hey guys, I'm on top of Match Patch. Uh, if you look around, I'm gonna do a 360 here behind me. Uh, about 4,600 feet, give or take. And it's all socked in today, so you look behind me that way. Very, you may be able to see, uh, looks like a lady and her dog hiked up there this morning, so. But, not much to see today, so driving on. Check in later. End of day 12. Tomorrow's the last day. So we're in a camp area at Phil's Gap. There's my tent set up there. Uh, we've got a full house around here, if you look behind me. There's uh, five or six other people here. Uh, this is the last stopping uh, point before we get into Hot Springs. So that'll conclude my hike. Uh, today was a 13 mile jaunt up uh, three or four different mountains. Uh, tomorrow, we go up the crest of one more mountain and then it's all downhill. So after that, uh, I'll stay in the night in Hot Springs and get my ride back to the vehicle Friday morning and then back to Michigan. So, uh, maybe I'll turn on later. I just hung my bear bag. Maybe I'll uh, take the video camera up there. And show you Sailor that. in her little hammock setup. And the rest of us are temp. This is the crew in camp tonight. Can we say hi? Hi. Who say hi to? Any, anybody who watches my dumb videos. Hi. <laughs> I'm uh, heading up to where my bear lines hung. Uh, this is it for my food. Down really low. And this is my cook kit and my trash. And my first aid kit. And all other smellables. So very little food left, but don't need it. Just need lunch to get into hot springs. So, hey guys, 
if you look over my head, there's my bear bag hanging up there nice. Uh, far enough away so a bear can't climb a tree and reach out and grab it. High enough so they can't uh, stand on their hind legs and get to it. And it's down far enough where hopefully if other uh, rodents try to go get it, they have a hard time too. So it's the best I got for tonight. So see you in the morning. Morning guys, uh, morning day 13, uh, beautiful morning out, uh, got a 10 mile descent into Hot Springs, uh, sun just came up, it's about 7.30 in the morning, it's going to be a beautiful hiking day, uh, nice note to end on, next time I'll uh, talk to you, we'll be arriving in Hot Springs. After I get on the road, it'll be the last time I'm in the woods for this section. Uh, the trail actually goes through the town, so I'll film some of that. Uh, and out the other end of town, across the bridge. It's kind of sad, kind of solemn. Uh, you're out here 13 days, you and your backpack, you know, seeing some amazing things. And then you have a few steps, boom, you're back in civilization and it's all over and you go back to work. But that's what I'm going to do as a section hiker. So since I'm going to, when I complete this, I'll have roughly 275-ish miles, 280-ish with the approach trail. So if you figure there's 2,200 miles on the trail, so I'm somewhere around 13%. So uh, many more years of the section hiking stuff. But as I said before, you know, how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. This just was another big bite, so I'll check in later. Okay guys, checking back in. I'm walking back toward the uh, Laughing Heart Hostel. Uh, big crew here tonight. It's about 15, maybe 20 people. Has some good venison, some good food, some good drink. Uh, great way to wrap up my uh, last event, excuse me, my last day of hiking here. Here's a dog, his name is actually Hiker. He's hilarious, you'll see him in a video later. <laughs> so there we go. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you asked, that oh, we, got a little visit, we got a little visitor from Hiker up here. So, uh, I'm at uh, Laughing Heart Hostel, and I've been told, and I've been told that I need to interview more hikers on the trail and be more real versus uh, the static approach I take. But you all know me; that's I'm all business. So, with me, I have a hiker that I've hiked a uh, majority of the trail since I've been out. It's our day one, and so we're gonna do a little Q and A here. We'll go from there. So, uh, first of all, what's your trail name? Sailor. Okay. And why the trail name Sailor? I live on my sailboat down in New Orleans. 
Wow. Living on a sailboat. We're talking about adventure. So, uh, why are you hiking the trail? Um, I had some time between jobs and it was something I've always wanted to do. So. Some time between jobs or you decided you just want to quit your job? You may or may not have <laughs> quit my job. All right, you're right. <laughs> okay. So... So, it's to say between so, 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 Sailor kind of quit her job to come hike the Appalachian Trail. So, uh, and uh, how old are you, hike? I'm 30. She's 30. So, it's not just old guys like me and, and young people. So, we got people in the middle that want a career change. So, why are you hiking the Appalachian Trail? Yeah, that's something I've always wanted to do. Um, and I really wanted to be more fit. I've been working a nine to five, sitting behind a computer all day long, and. Um, Something about being active every day and not really having a choice but to go hiking. It was really appealing. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, she flies by all of us on the trail. Uh, must be the cross country background or whatever, but she flies. So, trying to be fit is one thing, but you know, speed demons another. She, she starts after all of us and she finishes before all of us. So, this is not a morning person. <laughs> so, so, with that, so what's the best part of the trail for you? Um, the best part so far I've been doing the campfires and hot chocolate um, and just like feeling really good. Uh, something about hiking all day long makes your body feel good. Okay. And what's the worst part? <laughs> um, ooh, the rain has been terrible. Uh, all of my things got wet one of the nights whenever it rained the first time. Um, that's probably it, the rain. So all my friends know that me, the rain, uh, I'm... I, I thought I was going to get the nickname the Rain Man, so that oh, that man. went away. We've had about four and a half, five days of good weather, so no, and that's no longer in the forecast. Just after I met you, that we got the two terrible days of rain, and I did kind of blame it on you. <laughs> and uh, so, did you come out here alone, or? I came out with a couple friends in the beginning. Um, they hiked from Springer to North Fontana Dam with me, but I've been alone since then, so it's been. Uh, a fun experience, but I've never really been alone. Always have trail family, you know? And what do you plan on doing when you're done hiking? Um, I've got some ideas for starting uh, uh, my own small business, but um, probably go back to New Orleans and get a part-time job until that takes off. Any investors out there, keep that in mind. Okay. You know, landscaping in New Orleans. <laughs> I would Orleans. like to get my captain's license so I can take people on sunset cruises out in New Orleans. <laughs> okay. So with that, uh, I have a very small viewership, and they've asked that I interview some other people on the trail. I think this is pretty good. I don't want to keep it too long. So, uh, what would you say for uh, uh, things of encouragement to my limited viewership? Oh man, I feel like anybody can come out here and hike if you've got a small amount of time. Um, it's definitely worth it. It's a different type of lifestyle, but um, I like the community out here on the trail. That's been the best part so far. Yeah, meeting people and the people on the trail, um, all working together and hiking together. It's a lot of fun. Okay, with that, thank you very much, Sailor. I appreciate <laughs> it. It's been a pleasure hiking with you. Yeah, this sad is you're getting off the trail. So. I'm uh, back to the real world, and she's going to keep going for another week. So, uh, just to let you know, she's a badass. I mean, <laughs> she's out here right now, it's 275 miles, and when she's done, she'll be about over 300. So, kudos to you, and thank you for letting me interview you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a cut. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I get picked up and uh, carted back to my vehicle. Did an interview with another hiker. Uh, beautiful sunset behind me uh, in the mountains, so kind of saying goodbye. It was an amazing trip. Uh, if anybody gets a chance to go out and backpack and uh, see the Smokies or the areas around the Smokies, any part of the Appalachian Trail, you don't got to be an expert. Um, I've been hiking with people that are uh, close to their 70s and people close to their 20s, and some of the 20s are dying out, and some of the people at 70s are flying by, so it's just a matter of attitude and. Uh, taking your time and hiking your own hike.